Hi everyone at Japan Cinema, my name is Liang Shi and I'm a photographer. So a little bit about myself, I'm currently 23. I just graduated from the University of Texas at Austin. I'm originally from Shanghai, China, and then I moved to Houston, Texas. And uh, after college, I decided to stay and live in Austin. What else can I tell you about me? My favorite color is gray at the moment. And sometimes I like white and black. I have a miniature American Eskimo named Kiba. Kiba, come here. Come here. Come up. This is Kiba. She um, she likes carrots and uh, greenies. Um, and she sheds everywhere. What are some of my favorite movies? Well, I'm a huge action flick person. I love movies with lots of actions and I like twists. So my two favorite movies of all time are kind of tied and I would have to say it's a tie between The Matrix, the original one, and uh, Batman The Dark Knight. As far as Asian movies go, um, when I was young, my aunt and I would used to watch all these old like Stephen Chow movies and Chow and Fat and uh, my favorite Asian movies would have to be like the God of Gambling series. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, it is hilarious and it's awesome. As far as anime goes, I haven't watched anything new lately but one of my favorite series of all time is Death Note and then also um, <laughs> I used to be a really big Yu-Gi-Oh! fan when I was in high school, early high school, and I would always watch the show. I was in love with the show. Um, so yeah, that's my little secret. So it appears I live in the same city that Marcelo lives in, who runs Japan Cinema. I hope I said your name right. So he asked me, what are some of my favorite places to shoot in Austin? Well, to be completely honest, I don't really have any favorites. If I had favorites, then unfortunately all my photos would look alike because I'd be shooting in the same place all the time. When I take pictures, I like to call it adventure time. I like to go around and explore new areas and even places that I have been. I try to look for new corners or you know angles to shoot things from that I haven't done before. Just in terms of where I find a lot of good angles to shoot or just scenery that is interesting, um, Definitely South Congress is a cool area. If you've never been to Austin, South Congress is like this awesome street with tons of little boutique shops and restaurants and everything. And there's just tons of cool painted little corners and um, lots of colorful spots that you can just photograph in. I also like to shoot downtown, which uh, has a lot of walls and textures that don't exist elsewhere in the city because downtown tends to be older and there's just more, you know, that like old brick and there's more of these buildings that are historic and they look really, really cool in photos. So photojournalism and advertising kind of, it's like an odd mix of degrees. At first I thought I was being clever and that if I had a degree in photojournalism or photography and advertising, it was kind of a way to be prepared to do commercial photography. Well, that's not exactly how degrees work. You can't just have two degrees and create your own and mesh them because the classes don't actually go hand in hand like that. I really wanted to do photojournalism because I'm very, very passionate about photography and I really wanted to be a photographer. And then I really wanted to do advertising because photojournalism by itself is a major that, I mean, let's be honest, it's really hard to get a job with just a photojournalism degree. And so I did advertising kind of as a backup and also because I felt it would definitely help my skill set if I wanted to do freelance photography. So all of those things apply even if you're just a small business or you're an individual who's trying to start up your own business. The same concepts in branding and marketing and who your audience is are still very valid. So that was definitely a good degree to have if you plan on going off and starting your own company in the future. 
especially if you're an artist, a photographer, or something in the creative sector. It gives you kind of like a fundamental background in sort of business and advertising and marketing that will kind of prepare you to run a business versus just creating stuff and then not knowing how to sell it. I would have to say my advice to aspiring photographers out there is get a portfolio online. It is the most important marketing tool that you possibly could have. If people can't see your work, it doesn't matter how good you are because no one will ever know you exist. And you know, unfortunate as it may seem, some of the not so great photographers do really, really well for themselves because they know how to market and sell themselves. Sometimes people don't necessarily pick you for your work. They want to have you shoot them because they like your personality. And I think it's really important in your work and just in the way you interact with people when you're booking with clients and just the way you maybe write on your blog is to show your personality because I think sometimes people decide on things like that based on just if they like you or not. You know, that's how life works. No one's going to hire you if they don't like you, right? <laughs> so I think one of the most important things is to just really show your personality and have people get to know you through your online portals like your blog or your Facebook or your Twitter. So thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful in some way. And uh, if anyone has any questions, feel free to send me an email and I would be happy to answer. Thanks and bye!